Thank you for watching Ravens Roundup, but we're 100% real, no matter if it's the popular opinion or not. I hope you enjoyed this segment. Click the like button and share it on your socials. Thank you and enjoy. And uh, so we'll see right here. It says Derrick Henry, Saquon Barkley, Tony Pollard, Josh Jacobs, which is the better fit for Baltimore and why? Maybe. All right, it's, Sa but, it's, it's Saquon. Oh, I misspelled it. Oh no! I, okay, no, no, I was, I was, <laughs> you answered the question. <laughs> My bad. No, no, I, I was saying it's Saquon because when you're looking at Baltimore, the the best fit is the best talent. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't you have a, a shadow of an O line, but you got to rebuild that. Mm -hmm. right? uh, you got no running backs there right now, uh, and you just need the best possible player in that in that position. And then you need to let you or you need to have your coach, uh, Harbaugh and Monk, and actually use him to his abilities. Uh, I think Derrick Henry is 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 fine as a as a second option or third option if you if you miss out on like Josh Jacobs as well. But I'm just not thrilled with the idea of paying a, a running back going into his 30s uh, who who's doesn't look like he's the same player that he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, nah. I think it's my bad. No, no, um, I, I think yeah, it's, it's Saquon easily for me. Um, you know, you look at Tom Munkin's offense, and he wants guys who can be able to create in space. And Saquon is one of the ultimate space players that we've seen over the last few years. So having him in the, in the offense, and you know, not taking anything away from those other guys. You know, those other guys are good, um, borderline great. We've seen from them, but. Saquon and the type of back that he is, I think that would fit well with what Munkin, Munkin wants. And we saw that kind of with, with Justice Hill, like mm -hmm. where he wanted to get justice in space. So imagine those touches going to Saquon. It, it would it would be crazy. Yeah, and he'll be on an offense that actually has some other talent around him for the first time in his career. <laughs> yeah, he's not now, left him on Saquon. Now, coach, I did see your video where you're uh -huh. talking about uh, Derek Henry, and you know you brought up a, a very, very interesting stat about like the um, percentage of, of explosive runs uh, each of these guys had, and you know Josh Jacobs was, was off the charts mm -hmm. compared to the other ones, you know. So I, I kind of feel like you you know you might be going that route, and you know Josh Jacobs. If if we couldn't get Saquon, that that'd be number two for me, is Josh Jacobs. But like yeah, I, I'm with them. I'm with I'm with Saquon because you know he's he's more talented mm -hmm. than Josh. Yeah, Jacobs. He, he he he. Well, I'm gonna I'm let Mike answer. Then I then I give mine. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, yeah I mean I'm with y'all, Saquon. If I if we talking fits right, um, to B's point, you Saquon. Just because he's the best talent, right? But if we go into, you know, the, I mean, we had a different offense this year, but you know, when we are running, when we in our bag, we're running the ball. Like you know, we do have a, a, a sort of a downhill power running game. So I, I would go, I would go Henry second at the right price, as fit, as fit. Right. right. Um, but one, it got to be Saquon. If you can get Saquon. You, you you gotta you gotta do it you you gotta do it, um, but I am intrigued by Josh Jacobs too. Um, I think all of them gonna be like the 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 three main ones: Jacobs, Pollard. I mean, not Pollard. Jacobs, uh, Barkley, Henry. I think all of them gonna be right around ten million, mm -hmm. like like right in that area somewhere. Whether it's nine five to to eleven, they all gonna be in there somewhere I, which, so. which is honestly nothing for the the kind of playmakers you're talking about exactly and, right. And, right exactly and putting them on a team like baltimore who's contending right or it should be it's just the whole position is is just devalue something but they all gonna be right around that Not number standards <laughs> <laughs> and so this this is my answer and obviously you know jose alluded to my video i think josh jacobs is answer is number one on this list for me and the reason I got him up there, 26 years old, no major injury. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, the second guy I got, 
It's Tony Pollard, mm-hmm. 26 years old, can catch out the backfield. I, he did have a major injury like Saquon did, so, I, you know, but Saquon is next. He's 27, but he had a major injury also, him and Tony Pollard both. Then I got Derrick Henry last. Derrick Henry don't have that major injury that I know of. I know he had one season where he played only eight games. I don't know what happened that he only played eight. I don't know what the injury was. If it was an injury, uh, chat box, you can can uh, let me know what's going on. Um, but he's, he was hurt. I forget what it was. It was his foot. Was it his foot? I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember. But um, the first three guys, the main reason I got them over Henry, I went and looked up their catches. Mm-hmm. Their catching out of the backfield is light years ahead of what Derrick Henry does out the backfield. Mm-hmm. Now, what Derrick Henry does up front of them is you he can do the wildcat stuff. Like, and well, we can take Lamar out of that goal line of heavy stuff and and and, and forget that out of there. But the other three, I, I'd be cool with it. And for the, the people that's talking about no on Pollard, that lets me know your football IQ. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I just, think I'm I would... gonna be blunt with you. The people that's talking no on Pollard, that tells me how much you know football right there. I was talking to Mike and Kerry about this the other day about Pollard. And, um, like, I, I don't think people understand, like, the injury that he was coming back from. Like, that's not a minor injury that he right. had. Right. And when you look at him throughout the year and, and like, the way he finished the season, I think he looked better than he was earlier in the year. Right. And we know the Ravens are not going to be a, uh, um, what do you call a workhorse back kind of team we know that that's not going to happen they're going to mix people in um no matter who's there and tony pollard he's a guy he doesn't need to you you know there's some running backs that they need to have the ball to get in the groove yeah tony pollard that's not him like that's not him right he's he's always in the group because when he shared the backfield with zeke he was ready to go explosive yeah and that's why zeke got up out of there and I, I think if you can have a guy like Tony Pollard a year removed from that injury, I mean, if if it's a you know big time discount, like hell yeah, I take that too. Because we we ain't doing a lot of that between the tackle stuff. Like you know, we we ran a lot less power counter. We ran a lot of stuff like you mentioned earlier on the edges. Mm-hmm. That's why that's why I don't think Gus is a as a we need like it's like a, just a like you said a Saquon in that space. Uh, or a Josh Jacobs in that space, a Pollard in that space. And what's more difficult to get, some a space player or a bruiser who could get you, you know, third and one? Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's, it, it's, right. it's much easier to get those big bruisers. Exactly. You, now, you, I'll say this about, okay. like, like Derek, like, Derek Henry, Saquon, and really Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs, you know, he led the league in rushing one year. But, like, really, really Henry and Saquon, like, I mean, all, for all of them, but but for those two in particular, like, like they're known for being those guys. You know what I'm saying? Like they had that reputation, and I think we need that a little bit on this team too. So when we get to the playoffs, there, like there, there's there's no getting around getting the ball. Like you can't, like Harbaugh can't have a game where they don't get touches, win or lose. Right. Don't underestimate them. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the worst part of this whole discussion that, that you said you know for a fact that they're not going to have a workhorse running back and nobody is even going to argue with it yeah yeah that's true and that's no that's, matter who's running back is that's the key the thing is with all these names with 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 let me, let me make sure i say this right with jacobs saquon and derrick henry i don't think Harbaugh can go into a playoff game and not and give them six carries. He might can get away with that with Tony Pollard because of the name. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, mm-hmm. but the other three, he can't get away with that. Yeah, All right. Let's he can get away with it. What's that be? But he can get away with it with some people. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Man. yeah. So yeah. let me let me ask y'all this on top of this question: If it's not one of these four. Is it a is is it lost? Did they miss out? Did they did they drop the ball here? If they don't come out with one you, of these four number games. five is Austin Eckler. There's a lot uh-huh. of I, I like uh, I like Swift. I like Swift. No, I'm just saying there's a lot of there's a lot of running backs available. So like yeah, they, exactly. they can't come out of free agency without a good option at running back. You can and you can always if, even if you don't get one, I think you can draft one. Yeah. Well, some people can. 
<laughs> I think you can draft. I mean, I, I don't. I don't if, know. Because if you if you if you miss if if you don't get one of these upper tier guys, and you don't get like a Swift, because I feel like you don't have to jump out the boat and sign one of these dudes on day one. No. I feel like you can. I feel like if this is one of the instances you can kind of slow play these four four guys. Now, if three of them get signed immediately, that slow play stuff out the gate. <laughs> I feel like we I feel like we do. We we do because I mean, as much as I say, hey, we need to go get one of these top wide receivers, Mike Evans, you know, well, Higgins just got franchised, but we're, whatever. Like, we're not going to do it, right? That, that's the reality Enough, of it. Because Mike Evans projected to make 23, 24 million. That ain't gonna happen. See, I mean, and I'm and I'm the guy to say, no, nah, okay, pay him. You know, like get a difference maker. We're not going to do that wide receiver. That's just not what we do. But man, step out there and get a Saquon Barkley. Like we need a difference maker. If you're not going to get a wide receiver, get it in the backfield so you get somebody that can run and catch. And then Jose, it 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 goes into your plan of we made a business decision because mm-hmm. you're getting a playmaker for ten million dollars cheaper. Or or fourteen million dollars cheaper, and probably gonna touch the ball more than a Mike Evans. So say you say you paid Saquon ten million, you, you pay him ten million, and Mike is twenty four million. So you getting about ball a guy that's gonna touch the ball more than Mike. Mm-hmm. He's probably gonna have more of an impact on the game than Mike because of how our team set up. Yeah. You've made a business conscious decision that you can be like, okay, we still zigged when everybody else was zagging. And then they can still go out and get, you know, bring back like a, a Hollywood Brown or somebody like that. Get like Which that. You say, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey. <laughs> Chill. Chill. <laughs> my, my bad. My bad. <laughs> so, hey, uh, anybody else get it? Did we miss, miss Barney? You went on this? Did you go on this? Yeah. Who, who y'all back is? Who y'all back? Miles Sanders? Still? I don't, I just, I don't. <laughs> Now I was gonna try to interject you in the conversation. In the, in, the, in, the, in the Panthers show tonight, it's okay. Okay, my bad. Okay, forget it then. Yeah, this right. is my right, let's He'll go. have a let's... bounce back year. Okay, right, he right, better. Right. He made eight million this year. Oh lord. <laughs> okay. <laughs>